What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are bringing a brand new team as you can see on your screen here. We are building a team around Charizard. Now I decided I'm going to do the team builder on the end or I might even just put the team down in the comment section down below because a lot of people when I do these teams um, mid battle, let's say um, they skip the team builder and decide to go to the Wi-Fi battle or they watch video number two in which we don't do the, wi um, the team builder they will typically ask what the team is so moving forward i'm just going to go ahead and leave the team set in the comment section down below maybe i'll make a video on it um well i'll i'll record a separate video outside of this or i might even show the team after the battle we need to choose our pokemon we're against ethan bringing a really threatening team my goodness the darmanitan probably the most threatening pokemon to start things off i'm gonna start lycanroc in case he wants to start the Galvantula. We can honestly, we're, we're a choice bandage Lycanroc, so we can just hit the Excel Rock. I'm not running the um, Stone Edge is the only thing I'm really concerned about. I'm running close combat instead. Ethan, you are on fire, my guy. Your lead card is awesome, by the way. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment down below on your vote for using hashtag MVP for most valuable Pokemon in this Wi-Fi battle. And just like I predicted, here comes this Galvantula. We got a shiny Lycanroc. Beautiful shiny. Um, this was from a trade I acquired in Sun and Moon, I believe it was. And I just decided to hyper train this Pokemon, give it a candy, and we don't knock out because of the Focus Sash. And we actually went ahead and used a shiny Lycanroc. Sticker Web is a little bit upsetting to an extent because now my team is slow compared to his. But we're going to go ahead and finish this Galantula off with an Excel. Oh, Protect. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Do I have 5 PP on Excel Rock? I wonder. I haven't really... I have 20. So, potential switch-ins. I really think that... You know, he has four Pokemon. Cinderace, Galvantula, Salamence, and Darmanitan that are weak to... The Lycanroc, so he's gonna be he's under protect. Really, just stall me out like that. Not gonna happen. Hit him with an Excel Rock. Now, in this team, I have a Slowpoke who is Assault Vest, and I also have um, so I have Slowpoke who's Assault Vest, and I got a physical, full defensive, invested Ferrothorn with Rocky Helmet and Iron Barbs. Um, it almost is similar to my Skarmory set because I'm running both Spikes and the. What's the other move? Stealth Rock. But I am. Um, oh man, this is where things get a little bit confusing. Because I don't know if this is a physical Dragapult or a special Dragapult. So we're gonna scout things off a little bit. And we're gonna go into Drapion. But as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, no. I, I don't remember what I was saying. I am sorry. Physical. Dra um, This is not Dreepy. This is um, Dragapult. Okay, so that's a two-hit knockout, unfortunately. I should have gone into... In all reality, hindsight, the switch should have been um, Ferrothorn. But it is what it is at this point. I really cannot threaten this thing with Ferrothorn is the thing I'm concerned about because instead of running the Steel-type attack or Power Whip, I'm actually running the body press and the ingrain instead of leech seed because i didn't know leech seed was an egg move until after i bred the sparrowthorn so i'm a little bit of a disadvantage as far as that goes so um obviously body press is not a factor but i really want to set up the stealth rock given that he has three pokemon remaining that are weak to the uh, stealth rock so given that he goes Phantom Force here, this is the perfect opportunity for us to go Spikes this next turn. He's going to take a little bit of damage because of the of the Iron Barbs and the Rocky Helmet. So I can also ingrain here, but I don't think it's worth it quite yet. So here comes the Phantom Force. I'm going to take that relatively okay. And we're going to do the same damage to each other more or less because of the Iron Barbs and the Rocky Helmet. So that's pretty nice there. Next, uh, the Spikes go. And yeah, so we're in the spikes again, and we're gonna go ahead and see what this uh, phantom wants to do. Now, um, a couple things I want to talk about is I'm really going to try my hardest to go ahead and hit three videos uh, per week moving forward, especially with everything going around. I've had a little bit of a hard time. My girlfriend's going to school, 
um, I am a full-time dad, of course, and I got a job. So it's it's a little bit tough, but we, we will try to get through it. So he's gonna Dragon Darts again. I don't know if Ingrain was the play, to be honest. I mean, it's not doing a whole lot, which is really good to, for us, at least. But then at this point, we flinch with that. I was not expecting to flinch. How much dragon darts, dragon darts can you get? Let me search. Let me search up my app real quick. That was weird. I got like a hiccup feeling. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Dragon darts. That move has 10 PP, 16 max. That's not okay. That's not good at all. So I think what we're gonna do here. I really can't do much. I really cannot do much. I really love the idea of keeping Ferrothorn in, but I don't think um, it's worth at this point. Maybe we just have to sack it off though. I mean, he has a Cinderace. Yeah, we're sacking this thing off. We're gonna spikes again because, like I mentioned, the Cinderace is a it's a really scary Pokemon. We should be able to take a couple more, so we should be able to get three layers of spikes, which is gonna be really really good for us. I got a feeling this battle is gonna last to the whole 20 minutes. That's my prediction. I can be wrong. And Grand should be able to allow us to live another uh, set of Dragon Darts. So I'm going to hit up with the spikes. Hopefully he's he's playing stubborn and he really should try to knock this thing out. But it's going to take him a while. And at this point, I'm honestly just going to stick Ferrothorn in. I really wish I had Leech Seed. Flinch again. I, I should be able to take one more is my prediction. I can't not believe I flinched. I didn't even know Dragon Darts had a chance to flinch. That's that's amazing to me. Boom. The sad part is I don't got any choice Scarf Pokemon, so I really can't get over this thing. I don't really have a way to get over the Dragapult. Oh, did I already set up the three layers and wasn't aware? Oh, that's uh, that's a shame. I wasn't paying attention. Yep, three, three layers of spikes. Okay, we're just gonna stay in and um, we can't body press, so what are we gonna do, right? Dragon darts is gonna hit us pretty hard. And finally we go down. It's a crit! I don't, the crit obviously doesn't matter. Um, What am I gonna go to next? I think Lycanroc. I really don't like the idea of taking uh, dragon darts to the face, but I think we kind of have to. I think we kind of have to. Excel Rock is the best move for us to go against this. We are boosted by Tough Claws. But, um, and the Choice Bandit. So there is that. But I don't think it's enough to... I mean, Phantom or Dragapult is really frail. So maybe we can knock it out. It's not knocking it out. I don't think so. It's knocking us out. I, I, it has a really high attack stat. Uh, we're taking one more. We are taking one more. We're going to Excel Rock here. And that should be able to take care of this Dragapult. If he switches, he switches. That is a bummer. That's a huge bummer. He got us there. I'm gonna slow king here. We lost this battle, man. We lost this battle. I was not expecting a sucker punch. It's a really good move to run. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Ah, uh, slow king is going down. Ah, uh, no. And it's gonna come down to Pikachu and Charizard at this point. I didn't play ever. I don't know how I feel about this team. Even when I was building it, I know something is missing, but you know, I can't do anything. I got, a, I kind of want to do a second battle after this one. We're gonna side talk one more time. We're going down. There's no way we're living this. We're living it somehow. I mean, it's about time we take the dragon pole down, but we also got the sound mess to worry about. So there is that. We also got the Cinderace to worry about. So there's number two. I mean, I do got a quick attack Pikachu waiting in the back. <laughs> um, really, Pikachu is, is, is underrated. It's one of my favorite Pokemon to use because it's so underrated. And it's really, it's really hard to use a Pikachu. It is extremely hard to use a Pikachu. I hope this guy gets greedy and Dragon Dances. I really do. That would be the best feeling. That would be the best thing ever, actually. Please Dragon Dance. Please Dragon Dance so I can hit you with the Ice Beam. Please. Please. Get greedy. Rock Slide. Miss? Nope. Why would it miss? The Rock Slide is really, really bad for us. 
It is not good. It's not a good thing. I'm gonna go Pikachu here. I really don't have a choice because I don't want to go into Rock Slide against this thing. Pika! Cut, get stuck in the sticky web, unfortunately. And um, we're gonna quick attack here. We don't really have a choice. The Salamence is really bulky though. It does nothing. Rock Slide, again. We should be able to take one? No, we do. We do. So in hindsight, we should have Volt Tackled there. We should have Volt Tackled. Ah, <laughs> this team isn't that good. This team is not so good. I, I've known that, be I, I, like right when I built it, something about this team just isn't right. It's, all he has to do is hit me with the Rock Slide and it's GG. Um, part of me does want to Dragon Dance and hope for a miss. I think that's what I'm gonna try to bank on. Please, please miss the Rock Slide. It's done. It's done. This team, man, I know. I know, I knew it. I knew it. We're gonna do another battle for today. Ethan, you sweat my team, man. That kind of hurts. It hurts my soul a little bit. On to the next one. Okay, we found another opponent in Will. He's bringing a really cool team. I'm excited to go against this one. This one is a little bit within my team's level. At least I feel like, at least from looking at it. But, Pokemon he might start with. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what the Decidueye does. Same thing with the Intalion. I, I really wonder if it's my friend um, Falling to set. That would be cool to see. And kind of scary at the same time. Um... Let me bring the mic a little bit closer just so you guys can pick up my voice a little bit better. But um, Pokemon he might start with is a little bit hard to kind of guess. Because he doesn't really have a set lead. Because of that, I'm going to start Ferrothorn and just set up Stealth Rocks right off the bat. Because of the Togekiss, I think Spikes is also going to be good in the long run because most of his Pokemon are on the ground. So that's the plan. I don't see any Defoggers other than the Togekiss. And I don't see any rapid spinners for the most part on this team, at least from what I remember. But Will, may the best trainer win. This isn't my strongest team, I know that, but we're gonna try to rack up some wins within these next two weeks, so. Azumarill comes out first, which is actually not bad for us. This is actually the perfect lead. Because now we can go for a free Stealth Rock. We can go for, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Stealth Rock. I don't see a reason to Body Press. The reason I'm running Body Press is because if I, if my opponent, not necessarily my opponent, but my defensive stat is really, really high. My attack stat is okay. So that's why I'm running body press. In hindsight, I should probably run a steel type attack or even power whip. I definitely understand that I should run leech seed over ingrain. But like I mentioned earlier, I bred this after finding out that that was an egg move, so. Beautiful shiny Gallade comes out. I love the shiny Gallade. The blue color on it is just so satisfying Gallade comes out. It's probably gonna threaten me with a close combat And because of that, I'm obviously gonna switch out into Sloking Into Sloking. I know it's not the best switch in the world, but it still helps. I mean I'm a psychic type Close combat it is we should be able to take this. Yes. We are regenerator sloking, by the way. So that might be important. It, it, it might come into play in the future. Okay, loses some HP. Because of that, I kind of want a Scald. I mean, it's Stab, and it has a chance to burn. So, oh no, I was not expecting this. My boys, I just took an L. Okay, so I think Pikachu outspeeds Glade, right? I think Glade has base 80. I have base 90. He doesn't have any he doesn't have any ground type Pokemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt tackle. I'm gonna bolt tackle out here. If you go shadow sneak, you go shadow sneak. I outspeed obviously, so this Galate is going down. My boys, do not sleep on Pikachu. I should be able to hit one more bolt tackle before going down. Make that two as long as I outspeed. Oh, go out to Inteleon. I'm so upset that Slow King went down, just like that. I'm highly upset about that. I, I personally never run Thunder Punch, so that's why I was a little bit impressed. All right, here comes the Decidueye. And honestly, I'm gonna take this opportunity to go into Ferrothorn. If it hits me with the um, Arrow, Shadow, Sinister, no, that's that's the Z move. Um, what's the special attack called? What's the signature attack called? Oh, this is a special one. 
Interesting. Didn't do too much. That's what I thought. I'm going to hit the spikes here. I think Ferrothorn is still valuable against the Togekiss. And same thing with the Ezermeral. So, and this is going to be my answer to Ezermeral. So I am not going to be reckless and stay in. But this nasty plot does scare me. It does scare me. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, we're going to spikes here. Probably the best move we can go into. And um, I'm probably going to need to switch into Drapion. We're going to switch into Drapion. Predicting the Shadow Ball. I think setting up the spike slowly but surely is going to um, be one of the key factors. So... Nasty plot again. I'm pretty sure I outspeed. I think you have base 70 speed. Uh, speed, yeah. And I'm just gonna hit you with the knockoff. You, sh you got a little bit too greedy. You should have just hit me. Unless you're, you, know, you can't be choice scar. If I outspeed you, this should be a knockout too. Super effective knockout by the CGI. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Lost some HP. Um. So uploading schedule, that's one thing I want to talk about in this video. So on Mondays and Fridays, we're going to stick to our Pokemon. On Saturdays, I'm going to go ahead and finish off our Pokemon. Um, no, well, not Pokemon. Our... What game are we playing? I Super Mario World gameplay. We should outspeed this Togekiss. So we're going to hit it with a Cross Poison. And maybe knock out. Maybe. But yeah, that's going to be our uploading schedule. We're going to try to upload three days a week. Just like we were before, except obviously it's going to be a little bit different um, because I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm so sorry I've not uploaded three times a week. Like I mentioned, there are tough times. I've been a little bit busy, unfortunately, and that's kind of a it's catching up to me. It's catching up to me, but I am planning to upload as much as I can. Excel Rock is going to knock this Togekiss out on a side note. Max Airstream, that's perfectly fine we take this and i don't think we're gonna take another one unfortunately but like i mentioned i'm pretty sure that excel rock is gonna knock out here you go ahead and hit me with another max airstream that's fine my question is do i sack off the pikachu i mean he has the azumaro this thing outspeeds me officially he has the intellion and the reason i mentioned azumaro is because the aqua jet so i think it's time to sack off pikachu as much as i would love to use it we can definitely quick attack Bring this thing down just a little bit and then finish it off with an Excel Rock. I think that's the play. I think that is very much the play. Yep. We're going to quick attack here. Pikachu, my boy, you're putting in a little bit of work there. And I appreciate you. Excel Rock should, should uh, take this thing down. Max Flare. That actually benefits my Charizard. That benefits Charizard a lot. And it does not do good for the Italian and Azumi. So, I think it's GG. All we got to do is play our cards right. Here comes the Lycan Rock. Is this? Yeah, he went two air streams, one max flare. So this is this should be GG. Bring yourself in, Lycan Rock. I mean, what is this thing going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Excel Rock, it is. I think I've shown Excel Rock before. I don't remember. No, I have not actually. So that's good news. Togekiss goes down. No weakness policy triggers. In case this thing was running weakness policy, you know. I think we played around the Togekiss very well. I used to be really afraid of this thing when uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield first came out because weakness policy, Gigantamax, or Dynamax was really, really threatening, you know. Moomy Milker, or, or Mommy Milker, another shiny Pokemon. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. And then here comes the spikes. Beautiful. Ferrothorn has not come down, has it? It has not, so... Ferrothorn it is. We're going to set up the other spikes. And then we're going to sweep with Charizard here. There you go. That's game. And we're running Body Press. So this, this Mommy Milker is not going to appreciate any of this. T-Wave, that's fine. I don't mind that. Not on Ferrothorn, at least. Um, now, my question is, this thing is probably really bulky. So I kind of I think I'm going to Body Press. I think that's just the best play. Charizard will do its due diligence against the um, Azumarill and against the other Pokemon, um, Inteleon. I think these are the... Oh, wait. He only brought five Pokemon with him. I just realized that. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Why didn't you bring a fifth Pokemon? Or sixth, I mean. 
The last Pokemon doesn't mirror. That means no Italian for some reason. I really wonder why he didn't bring the Inteleon. I think it would still be a win regardless because... Well, maybe not. I don't know. Here comes the Zoomerl. Yeah, this is the last Pokemon. Wow, I feel so bad. I, don't, I feel like I don't deserve this win, to be quite frank. Body press. Because of that, I don't even want to Dynamax on this boy. That's how bad I feel. Aqua Ring? Interesting. I, I figured. I figured. It's only fair that he gets the hacks. It's only fair. Come on, Azumi. Please knock us out. <laughs> this is a bulky Azumi. Maybe this thing knocks us out. Who knows? So on Lycan Rock, I'm running Psychic Fangs. I'm running um, Excel Rock, obviously. Oh no. He beat me. He beat me. I mean, if you hit this with Play Rough, your best attack is Superpower if you're running it. I mean, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Body press. I gotta whittle this thing down as much as I can, is the thing. It's at a plus six. If that's not scary, I don't know what is. He's probably m trying to mercy rule me because he's like, you know what? My Azumarill is so overpowered. I'm gonna bring five Pokemon to the battle. Play rough. That's what I thought. That still does a lot. Maybe Ferrothorn can get the knockout here. Who knows? Or this next turn. Come on, Ferrothorn. Body press. Knock it out. Yes. Yes. I still don't feel like I deserve this victory, but it is what it is. I'll take it. A win is a win. I still feel bad. Will, that was a beautiful battle. I'm taking your lead card because that was a good battle, obviously. But remember, the team builder is going to be in the description down below. So if you're interested as far as what Pokemon I'm running, make sure you guys go down below, comment on your thoughts about this team. Make sure you like that if you guys um, actually took the time to read the team builder or the team comp composition is the right word. But make sure you leave a like. Comment down below on your vote using hashtag MVP, most valuable Pokemon, and leave your vote. I don't know who it was, to be honest. Make sure you leave it on either both battles, either one or two, or MVP for this. You, you guys know what I mean. Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy, Daddy Max, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.